You ready? All right. We're here with Linnea Strom, who's in the clubhouse at two under 68. Linnea, you've got to feel really proud about how you played today. Tell us about your round here in Aronimink. Uh, I played very steady today, and my mindset going in this morning was just to try and play smart and, you know, hit as many greens as possible. Um, the greens are pretty big, so even if you're on a green, you can have some really long putts. But, yeah, I just try to find good spots on a green and, and hit some good putts. So you had birdies on two and three, then mm -hmm. seven, 11, and 12. Can you tell us about those birdies? Were there anyone that really stood out, or were you just having some steady golf today? Uh, the birdies were all very steady. Um, hit the fairways and then hit the greens, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've had a, several weather conditions. You weren't off too, too early, mm -hmm. but still early enough for it to be pretty chilly, and it's still windy, but now it's bright and sunny. We're not used to playing majors here in the States in conditions like this. What's the whole overall experience been like playing a major here in October? Yeah, it's for sure a bit different, but I think for me coming from Sweden, I'm, I'm pretty used to those conditions mm -hmm. and especially the chilly mornings. Um, but the wind for sure was the tricky part today. I think especially my back nine today, um, it was a bit, like it's, when the wind was crossed, it was hard to, to say if it was gonna help or if it's gonna hurt the ball. So I think that was the toughest part today. Great. Reminder to people on Zoom to raise your hands. We're going to start here in the room with Joe Giuliano. Hi, Linnea. Um, the, the wind, was it like a guessing game like for club selection? Because I, I know it was gusting out there, and maybe you'd pick a club, and then the wind would do something else. So was that a problem for you? Yeah, well, a little bit. Um, I mean, when we played um, hole, I, hole eight, um, today like I the first two guys hit it over and then one was like 30 yards short of the green so the wind is for sure gusting out there so yes. you don't really know exactly what it's going to do when it's your turn to hit but I think overall for me I just tried to take a good decision together with my caddy and then then just trusted when I was hitting right could you describe your uh, birdie at number seven and then what happened for your bogey on eight uh yes yeah, so and my birdie on number seven I actually hit the tee shot a little to the right into the rough, and then hit a good seven iron to the green pin high left of it, and and hold that putt. So that was a very good birdie. And then eight is a long par, th par three. I think I had 170 meters to the flag. Um, so I just pulled my four right and a little bit long left, um, and then hit a good chip shot, but ended up missing the putt. So. And how did it finish to get up? How did it feel for you to finish up and getting up and down on nine and saving a two under um, round? Yeah, that that was. Uh, that was a good feeling, um, of course, and then I hit, hit a poor third shot into the green, but then saved it up and down, so that was good. All right, we have a question here on Zoom. Adam Stanley, if you could unmute, please. Yep. Uh, hey, Linnea, uh, nice playing uh, out there today. You're one of the longest hitters on the LPGA Tour, just looking at the stats. Did you use that to your advantage today? I think so. Yeah, actually, when I played a practice round here, I could kind of feel like if I'm if I'm hitting good drives, I think you will have a good advantage here. And my driving was very good today, so I think that for sure gave me some advantage, especially in this wind. And uh, just a quick follow-up: tomorrow is Annika Sorenstam's 50th uh, birthday. Just wondering if you could speak to her inspiration or uh, just how you felt uh, having her kind of be such a leader with respect to uh, Swedish golf. Yeah, um, well, I met Annika for the first time when I was 12 years old at her Annika Cup in Sweden. And I think after that camp, that was when I decided that I wanted to turn pro and I wanted to be an LPJ star. So she's for sure, you know, motivated and inspired me to be where I am today. So I'm very thankful for that. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. Joe, we'll go back to you. Uh, yeah, speaking of your length, Linnea, what was the longest club you hit into a par four today? Do you remember? Oh, the longest club into a par four. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, the longest it was probably, uh, I think I hit a six iron at some point. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Anything else? All right, go inside, get warm. Thanks so much, okay, Linnea. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck.